That was beautiful. Mr. State Secretary, distinguished guests, dear fellow Fulbrighters, welcome to the 30th anniversary gala of the Hungarian American Fulbright Commission. My name is Ben Samohoy, and I was a Fulbright student myself at the University of Southern California, Edinburgh School for Communication and Media in 2017. First of all, let me all thank Jason Wolf and the Seged Trombone Ensemble for their rendition of Beethoven's Egmont Overture, a beautiful opening. Jason, born and raised in Houston, Texas, is a current Fulbright student located here at this very place at the Liszt Friends Academy of Music. Jason is a professional trombone player who is in his second year as a master's degree candidate under the Liszt Academy. Jason's current study in Hungary has consisted of conducting his research through chamber music with the Seged Trombone Ensemble, trombone competitions, and his study with mentor György Givician, performer and trombone professor at the Liszt Academy. Thank you again for your wonderful opening. And now it is my pleasure to ask Mr. Laszlo George, State Secretary for Innovation, Higher Education, Vocational Training and Enterprise Development, representing the Ministry of Culture and Innovation to make his opening remarks. Mr. State Secretary, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure to listen to the Egmont Overture. I was at the back of the hall, and it was th thrilling. Established in 1946 at the suggestion of Senator J. William Fulbright, the Fulbright program, which involves more than 160 countries around the world, has been the most respected educational exchange program in the United States since its inception. Hungary has been participating in the program since 1978. Following that, more than 1,200 Hungarian and nearly 1,000 American citizens have been awarded scholarships. The Hungarian-American Fulbright Foundation was established by a bilateral treaty signed in 1990 and extended indefinitely by the two countries in 2007. The Fulbright Commission in Hungary was established in January 1992, 30 years ago, after a binational agreement was signed between the governments of Hungary and the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, not anyone can become a Fulbright scholar, Fulbright student or professor, and those who are awarded and participating in the program will become someone for sure. The Fulbright program is one of the most prestigious scholarships in the world, with 60 Nobel laureates internationally, 13 full and six corresponding members of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, four former ministers, 20 former ambassadors, state secretaries, government officials, 18 rectors, deans, university leaders, six leading businessmen, and many writers and poets. I was not a Fulbright scholar, unfortunately, <laughs> but probably I could still become a Fulbright professor. I'm telling it to Mr. Jokaj. The government of Hungary quadrupled its annual contribution to the Fulbright Commission by 2022 in three steps. With this largest ever increase and absolute amount, Hungary and the United States are near parity, depending on the exchange rate. Ladies and gentlemen, I had the honor, I had the invitation from Mr. Yokai to participate in the welcoming of the American Fulbright scholars, students and professors around a month ago. And then I promised to come back to them at the end of this year or the beginning of next year, because we are very keen on learning from them how to develop further the Hungarian university and innovation ecosystem. Happy birthday to the Fulbright program here in Hungary. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Mr. State Secretary. 
Full Riders from Hungary and the US start and continue their collaborations during and after their grand periods. Sándor Balatoni, organist and choir master, is a Fulbright alum from Pécs who studied at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. Joseph Stulligros, a current Fulbright grantee from Duquesne University, is teaching advanced pedagogy techniques at the University of Pécs this semester. Together, they present Béla Bartók's Töltik a Nagyerdő útját, based on folk melodies and Aaron Copland's At the River. Please welcome Joseph Stulligros and Sándor Balatoni. They fill the path of the great forest. They take the poor soldier. They take the poor, poor lads from Seike. They will take you to that place where the road is painted with blood. Who is the bullet? Who is the spear? Who was cut down by the sharp sword? have trod with its crimson tide forever flowing by the throne of God. Yes, we the beautiful river gather with the saints by the river that flows by the throne of God the shining river, soon our pilgrimage will cease, soon our happy 
happy hearts will quiver with the melody of peace. Yes, we the beautiful river gather with the saints by the river that flows by the throne of God that flows by the throne of God Thank you, Shandor, and thank you, Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our great, great honor to have Ambassador uh, of the United States over here in our community, and we are pleased to welcome him as our special guest. Please give him a round of applause. It is, our, it is our great honor to ask you, Ambassador David Pressman, to make your opening remarks. <laughs> thank you very much for being present, and thank you very much for supporting our community. Ambassador. I am so sorry to be late, I, and I am just absolutely delighted to be here. Uh, what a what an extraordinary occasion and an extraordinary partnership to celebrate. Uh, State Secretary George, Dr. Yokai, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in 1992, the American Embassy and the government of Hungary came together to establish the Hungarian American Fulbright Commission. And today, we come together to celebrate 30 years of good work by the Commission. Although the Commission celebrates its 30th anniversary this year, the Fulbright Program has been connecting the United States and Hungary since 1978. Fulbright does this by providing the opportunity for dozens of American, Hungarian, American and Hungarian students, scholars, lecturers, educators, and professors every year to spend several months immersed in each other's countries. And over the years, Fulbright Fellows have been hosted by hundreds of the best academic institutions each country has to provide. Not only is this exchange invaluable in terms of the educational exchange and enrichment it provides, but it is also an incredible opportunity to bring our nations together at a personal level. So we often describe the Fulbright Program at the State Department as a flagship exchange. Um, it's one of the most prestigious, most competitive, most challenging, and most rewarding programs that we have to offer. And it provides terrific opportunities for Hungarians to study and research in famed American institutions such as Harvard, MIT, New York University. It allows Americans the chance to learn under the tutelage of scholars at the University of Szeged, Corvinus, and many others. And this is a program without a political agenda, beyond the desire to, as Senator William Fulbright said, bring a little more knowledge, a little more reason, and a little more compassion into world affairs, and thereby increase the chance that nations will learn at last to live in peace and friendship. So for the last 30 years, the Hungarian American Fulbright Commission has facilitated this cooperation between our two countries. And the program cannot be seen as anything other than a true success story for both of our countries. So this isn't news, I realize, to anyone in this room. 
I think we all know the value of Fulbright, and we understand the power and potential for positive change when the United States and Hungary cooperate. We are proud of our American educational and research institutions, Stanford, Yale, MIT, which have few peers in this world. So when, when I hear some of the senior most officials in Hungary deriding, quote, neo-pagan ideology, end quote, being taught at America's educational institutions, as I saw a couple of weeks ago, it's, it's both ridiculous, but you, you need only ask the many, many non-pagan applicants to each of those schools from Hungary to know that. So this is serious because it isn't just politics. It is an assault on the decades of good faith partnership cultivated by our two countries, including through programs such as Fulbright, which bring us closer together and which we gather here today to celebrate. I mentioned Senator Fulbright earlier in my remarks. And why was he such an ardent supporter of this country to country exchange? It wasn't because he thought we needed to address some sort of gap in America's universities. It wasn't because America needed some sort of lure to pull in the best and brightest from other countries. The United States has long been the premier destination for, ac for many academics. And Senator Fulbright created his namesake program so that we could connect the United States to other countries in a manner that could not be so easily broken by rash words of politicians. Fulbright is so much more than an academic exchange. It is a cultural bridge, providing scholars the chance to experience life in temporary new homes. It is a bridge between our two countries a bridge just as important as any that span the Danube. And just as the chain bridge sometimes needs a little TLC, which I hope can get translated, uh, so too, uh, so that it can serve the people of Hungary, so too does this cultural bridge between the United States and Hungary. If we do not care for this connection, worse if we deliberately sabotage it, then we must reckon with the consequences. The partnership between the United States and Hungary is too important to be allowed to slip into disrepair. This is not about politics. This is about people. And this afternoon, we remember and recognize the hundreds of Americans and Hungarians who, through the Fulbright program, continue to maintain and build an even stronger connection between our nations. There are so many individual Fulbright success stories that I could share to demonstrate the importance of this program, but let me just mention one person that I know is on the mind of many this afternoon. By 1998, Professor Tibor Frank was already well-respected in his field when he was awarded a Fulbright Fellowship to teach history at the University of California in Santa Barbara. He would also later teach at the University of Nevada and Columbia University. In 2000, Dr. Frank established the PhD program in American Studies at ELTE here in Budapest. And under his wise and patient guidance, many hundreds of students have furthered their knowledge of the US-Hungarian partnership. And no doubt, many in this room, I, suspe I suspect, were students of Dr. Frank. And in the true spirit of Fulbright, not only did Dr. Frank take from Fulbright, but he also gave back to it, not only to his students and his community, but by serving many years on the Fulbright Commission board. Sadly, we lost Dr. Frank just recently. And although I did not have a chance to meet with him before his untimely passing, I am honored that we can pay tribute to him here today. He is one of many proud examples of success, of, of the success of the Fulbright program. So while I certainly do not want to downplay the value of the academic aspect of Fulbright, I think we can never emphasize enough the long-term importance of the cultural impact the fellowship brings our two countries. And today's gala is the perfect opportunity to experience just a small taste of this culture. It is the Fulbright Commission that we largely have to thank for the long-running success of the program here in Hungary. The Commission is an important partner to the Embassy, and through Dr. Yokai's leadership and with the financial contribution of the Government of Hungary, we look forward to a continued successful partnership of short 
and long-term impact, a marriage of culture and education that benefits both of our countries and protects this truly vital relationship between the United States and Hungary. Thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much, Ambassador Pressman. And we look forward to seeing you at our events. And thank you very much again for supporting Fulbright Community. Our next presenter, according to the original program, was supposed to be Cheng Ezolka, a professional storyteller and author who collects, researches, and performs traditional stories in three languages. A former Fulbright student, Cheng holds a master's degree in storytelling and a PhD in culture studies from East Tennessee State University. Unfortunately, she cannot join us today due to an unexpected family emergency. We wish her all the best and on behalf of the Fulbright community. U.S. Fulbright scholar at ELTE, Carla Kelsey, is an author of four books of poetry, Blood Feeder, A Conjoined Book, Iteration Nets, and Knowledge Forms in the Vyrie, as well as Of Sphere, A Book of Essays. She teaches at Susquehanna University. Her poem, Cosmogony, will be read by current U.S. Fulbright student, Ella Rosenblum, from Carnegie Mellon University. Please welcome Ella Rosenblum. Cosmogony by Cara Kelsey. In answer to absence, gutting the animal of what makes it so beautiful, remainder left to the field, carrion to crow, bones to mineral, fertilize a document. Instruct how to cross threshold, field into home. Each step taking place into body until your body becomes what songs you claim as your own. Transfiguring space between two things. Nub of Galena, tuning coil combined for a little crystal radio. Glitter snow transmitting a true husk led me to dwell, to fall through firmament. Become sky dart, sky cross, sky child, reduced to ash, slurried over the field to painted clouds, bottom of backdrops, hoisted to loft the sky. Flower cycle of pale blue, followed by a book, not possible for its author to read. Yet its red thread sows the skull's temple, as time sows temple to sacred space, to the sea, and taking the boat out, letting it drift, lifting up one's drowsy head and then letting it again drift, the mind filling each glass globe with oil, antifreeze, glycerin allows the glitter to float, nomad, maynad, small inclination towards being, whistling in power lines, artifact, fragments of sky gods lost long ago. To be this against what of yourself you decided to keep. Star chart, little model boat, to find your voice. Grooved vinyl had been music. Thank you very much to Carla Kelsey in absentia and to Ella for her wonderful reading. Our next performer is Anna Rakoci, a flutist, who is a graduate of the Liszt Ferenc Academy of Music and was Fulbright Scholar to the Peabody Conservatory, Johns Hopkins University, Maryland, USA, where she received her master's degree. She will be accompanied by Esther Ogardi in performing Adam Condor's trailer. Please give him a warm welcome.
Thank you to Anna and Esther for this wonderful performance. Bolaj Lazar, an actor and poet, received a Fulbright scholarship in 2000 and completed a nine-month-long physical actor training program at Del Arte International in Bull Lake, California. Based on his US experience, he wrote his third book of poems titled Memo Restorer and a doctorate thesis about theater mask training, receiving a Doctor of Liberal Arts from the University of Theater and Film in Budapest in 2016. There, as a classmaster, he has started a theater text editor class in September. He acts in several theaters, and his seventh book of poems, titled Message from Helsingur, will be released next spring. Please welcome Bolaj Lazar as he performs his own poem, There and Then. There and then. On those first days in California, dizzy by the palm shaded straws and the variety in the corner grocery, where to my utter surprise, the smiling American cashier asked me how I am doing. In other words, there and then, I felt I'd never met such friendly people, so I began avidly to say how, where from, where to, at which the cashier got nervous, and uh, as I talked, began quickly stuffing the certified organic food in the bag, then smiling again, said, have a nice day. So later, I too was merely fine, like everyone else in line, uh, because there and then I already felt trapped in a cartoon panel of bi-robotic dialogue, though at times I'd have liked to try, uh, not so good, I had trouble sleeping and I pinched a nerve in my back. Uh, or, uh, well, weird, I've got no idea, dude. Uh, or, Never mind, you're not really interested anyway. You are only asking because it's your job. Uh, in other words, 
I've been curious at their expressions, but compared to the unsociable Budapest January, it's simply sci-fi how I've been smiling here as I pay the cashier while strangers ask how I am doing. Thank you very much to Bolash for performing there and then, here and now. We all have met cashiers like that. <laughs> Thank you. Our host here at the Liszt Academy, Dula Fekete, is a professor of composition at the Academy and currently serves as vice director for research and international affairs. He received a doctorate in composition from Northwestern University, Evanston, Illinois, in 1996 and a master's degree from the Chicago Musical College of Roosevelt University in 1993, and held a Fulbright grant in the 1994-1995 uh, academic year. Two pieces from Dula Fekete's Cabaret Songs, based on poems by Orshoya Korofiat, will be presented by Andrea Omelat and accompanied on piano by Ferenc Janos Szabó. Please give him a warm welcome.
sosem marad, amit lehet, az most magára öltjük, és elsimítjuk mind a ránkfogat. We thank all of you. This was very, very nice. Another poet follows. Andras Gerevich is an all-round writer publishing poetry and essays, working on, in theater and film. With degrees from Elta University and studies at Dartmouth College on a Fulbright scholarship, he also holds an MFA from the National Film and Television School in the UK. Andras teaches at the Budapest Metropolitan University and at the Budapest campus of McDaniel College. He has translated a number of American poets into Hungarian, including Walt Whitman, Frank O'Hara, and Louis Gluck. And he is the author of a short anthology of contemporary American poetry. His fifth book of poems in Hungarian, Légzés Gyakorlatok, Breathing Exercises, was published recently, earlier in 2022. Please welcome on the stage Andras Gerevich. Breathing exercise. You are your breathing. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, fill your whole body the lab of your lungs as gas is exchanged between your blood and the open sky. That, in living, you are ever reborn, a material renewed without end, an inextricable labyrinth carbon cycle. Breathe out. In, deep through the nose, and feel your flesh weigh you down, the skin stretching as you inflate, blood in your neck pulsing, atoms and molecules transforming like cravings. And when you let go, you float like empty. Close your eyes and look at the sky. Feel the birds wheeling. Breathe in. 
flutter. You're a tree pushing roots down into the world, endless as the body's meshwork of vessels. And breathe out as the mollusk retracts tentacles. Draw back all the Gordian tissue to the innermost place inside you until you're only a bulb. And finally, a black dandelion seed, dense, heavy, yet weightless on currents of air. Breathe out a zephyr. Breathe in. Rebuild a body from your atoms. Thank you, Andras, and congratulations on publishing breathing exercises. Fulbright Hungary alumni extend to Hollywood, too. Robert Guja is a winner of multiple awards composing film music. He is the creative director of London-based Boulevard Music, having scored 22 feature films, including Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn, starring Walt Kimmer, and Truth, starring the Academy, Academy Award winner George Kennedy. Robert won the coveted British Music and Sound Award for Best Commercial Arrangement in 2019 and has been awarded the Best Music at Cannes Corporate in 2014. Please join us watching a scene from the film Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn from 2014 with the score by Robert Guia. Pretty drunk. Hope we don't gotta carry him out like this. Don't worry, Hooky. He'll be okay by the morning. Let's get out of here. What? Well, I thought we came here to break him out today. Yeah, Hooky, we will, but not just yet. <laughs> but let's make tracks. After all this hard work, we're losing precious time. I mean, what happens if we come back tomorrow? They're gonna hang an innocent man. That poor guy will be strung up for nothing. Hook, we're gonna get him out in the morning. A break like this needs to be planned to detail. Otherwise, they're gonna get muffed before he even notices that he's on the run. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, we better turn this light off. <laughs> Wake up. It's empty. There's nobody in there. Hooky, you hear me? Gone. I can't believe it. What are we gonna do now? To be honest, I don't know. But I do know that without us, he's not getting too far. Damn, damn, damn. We gotta cover our tracks. Go, go, go.
Now there was life in this small town. Muff Potter was found about two miles outside of town in a dilapidated one-room shack. But before he was sent back to jail, he was memorably tarred and feathered. I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Tom. We are delighted to have Robert Guya here. Thank you very much for coming. Congratulations. Wow, how wonderful was it. I even prefer to close my eyes to focus only on the music of the film. Very, very nice. Thank you very much for being here. And now it is my pleasure to invite to the stage the Executive Director of the Fulbright Commission, Karo Yukai, to conduct an award ceremony and offer some closing words. Karo Yukai, please come to the stage. That maybe this one right here. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear alumni and guests, today we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the Fulbright Commission. If we include the pre commission period, our history goes back another 14 years to 1978. Our gala program today recognizes all Fulbrighters, Hungarians and Americans alike, through the presentation of culture. One important leg of the Global Fulbright Program, cultural exchange, means experiencing the different, sharing the familiar, and integrating the synthesis into, the life, into a life of learning and curiosity. Fulbright scholars and students in all fields, such as the natural, natural sciences, social sciences, engineering, law, the arts and humanities, are destined to absorb the culture and heritage of the US and Hungary, respectively. Please forgive me if I left out a field. These are, these are general terms. But, um, the Commission and its staff are eternally grateful to our alumni in US and Hungary who volunteer to act as peer reviewers, references, hosts, mentors, board members, and interview panel members. Our work would not be possible without the support of the alumni community. Thank you. Please give yourself a hand. We are also grateful to our two founders, the governments of the United States and of Hungary, for their financial, technical, and log logistical support over the past three decades. I would like to thank our Hungarian host universities, many of whom of who are here today, for offering not only academic homes for our American students and scholars, but also, also for their ever-increasing financial contributions. In this sense, Hungarian universities are rapidly converging with their US peers. Before we move on to present awards to five outstanding alumni leaders, I have an announcement. Our board, upon suggestions from our staff, has approved up to five alumni travel awards per year on a first come, first serve basis to help defray the cost of Hungarian Fulbright alumni attending academic conferences in the United States in order to serve on a panel, or better yet, to present a paper. Details will be forthcoming coming on our web page as soon as I sit down and write it. OK, so <laughs> give me a few days for that. Um, now I am pleased to share the news that the Fulbright Commission has decided to present an award, the Fulbright Hungary Medal, to five members of our alumni community who have served the cause over the past three decades. Their service includes negotiating the initial bilateral agreement between Hungary and the United States, serving on or chairing the board, organizing alumni association activity, peer reviewing, interviewing, hosting, recommending, and mentoring generations of students and scholars. Their time spent in the US as grantees, or in the case of Professor Morse, as a US grantee in Hungary, 
contribute to a U.S.-Hungarian cultural, educational, and scientific exchange in more ways than we can possibly list. So now I would like to ask the awardees to approach the stage one by one to receive their award and their well-deserved applause and recognition. Professor Donald Morse. This is a wonderful moment for me. I, I did serve on the bilateral commission representing the United States. There were five Americans, there were five Hungarians. And we learned so much from each other. And uh, it was then that I really began learning about Hungary. And I think that made my uh, Fulbright so much better. I, I was honored to be the first elected chair of the, of the Fulbright Hungarian uh, American Commission. And that work, I think, is some of the most satisfying in my life. So thank you all very much. I, so many of you I, I recognize, you know, that through interviews, through uh, Fulbright's, everything. Anyway, thanks, Kachi, and thank, and you, thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Professor Zoltan Obadi Nagy. Although we were not supposed to say anything, <laughs> but Donald, thank you for making the opportunity possible. <laughs> but not more than two sentences. Well, as a matter of fact, when the Secretary of State said that very often, you know, diplomatic things, very often political, very often management tasks followed, I thought of myself because when I returned uh, in 1989, and that was at 1989 here, my Fulbright experience from my Fulbright professorship catapulted me literally into university management. And uh, so it was a lot more than research in all the bilateral things we associate with Fulbright. It amounts to much, much more. Thank you very much. Professor Katalin Nagy. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And I think I also have achieved a couple of things in my life. But uh, what I am the most proud in my life is to be a Fulbrighter. And we all know who are here today that once a Fulbrighter, always a Fulbrighter. Thank you so much. <laughs> Professor Zita Zoltai Paprika. Honor, and I can just say the same that while my Fulbright scholarship was a tipping point in my life, and I landed at the university administration as well. And uh, after returning, I just tried to give back. 
and uh, I feel now it is recognized. Thank you. Thank you. There is a fifth awardee who unfortunately has passed away a few weeks before this event. Our immediate past board chairman, Professor Tibor Frank. He will be sorely missed by all of us. Please rise to honor his memory with a moment of silence and reflection. Thank you very much, and congratulations to all awardees. And a word of thanks also to all who took part in today's event as performers and artists. We owe a word of thanks to the Fulbright staff and to several Fulbright alumni, Anita Rákóczi, Gyula Fekete, and Balázs Lázár, for their role in envisioning and organizing our gala. Thank you very much. Please give them an applause. In closing, before our reception, Daniel Sander will perform his own compositions. Daniel Sander first came to Hungary on a Fulbright student grant in 2010 to study at the Liszt Academy. Upon his return to the States, Daniel accepted a teaching post at the University of Virginia and won concertmaster positions with both the Charlottesville Symphony and the Charlottesville Opera. Before returning to Hungary in 2021, as a Fulbright Scholar to teach at the Liszt Academy and the University of Pécs, Daniel continued to visit, research, and perform collaborative concerts with Hungarian colleagues and musicians in Charlottesville, Budapest, and Pécs. Daniel's formative Fulbright years have continued to bear fruit professionally, and more such exchange concerts and activities are planned for the future. Daniel traveled from Virginia just to be with us today. Please join me in welcoming this performance of two of his recent compositions based on folk melodies he researched in Hungary while on his Fulbright, scenes from Csenyete and Three Souvenirs. Please welcome Daniel Sander, accompanied by Emma Shemali.
Wow, <laughs> what a final. Thank you, Daniel. You do understand Hungarian music, I guess. <laughs> this went straight to our souls, I guess. It's very, very, very good. Thank you very much, and thank you, Emesha, too. Dear guests, time has come to say thank you for being here with us, and to all of you who performed and supported this afternoon, we are much obliged. Please join us in the foyer just outside the concert hall for a toast and refreshments. Thank you very much again for being here, and God bless the Fulbright community. Thank you very much. Thank you.